until you're finished. So the feet <coughs> with a black 260, about seven inches uninflated or so. Uh, we're going to start with the paws. Now the paws, you could if you wanted white paws on here, you could do the feet bit, finish that all off, tear away the rest of the balloon, and then just attach it to a black balloon. Uh, nice and simple. So what I've done there is I've done one pinch twist. I'll show you that again in slow motion. I've made a bubble. Quite a large bubble, maybe two fingers. Grab the nozzle, pull it down, and wrap it around. That makes our first pinch twist. This is the sort of back of the foot, the ball of the foot. So then I'm going to make three toes using pinch twists again. I'm going to make a small bubble, grab, and pinch twist. And I'm going to do the same again. Another small bubble, grab, and pinch twist. Now with the black balloons, a lot of people do find that black balloons have a tendency to pop a bit more easily. Make sure you give it a bit of a good squeeze, just to give that bit of flexibility in the balloon that you might want when you're doing three or four consecutive pinch twists. Okay, now I'm just going to rearrange the foot so that the rest of the balloon is sticking out the top. So we've got the ball. And then we've got the toes, if you like, and the cat at the front. Three toes, the ball at the back, and the leg going up. Now we don't want the leg to be massive, a slight bend maybe, but a leg maybe, what's that, about six fingers, six, four fingers and a, and a bit of a thumb. Okay, long. And we're going to bring that down and make the same length leg the other side and we're just going to repeat exactly what we've just done with the foot but what I tend to do is start with the ball the foot, the back bit and then the three small the toes to finish with and then when I break off the rest of the balloon I wrap the nozzle what's left around the toes to secure it in place ok so we've got the third one here third toe and we we'll break the rest off ok again Break it off how you want, scissors, cutter, no odds, the end result is the same. And again, just rearrange the toes so that you've got the toes at the front, or at the back, foot coming up the middle. We're going to split that balloon again in half, push, and pass that now from the top through to the bottom, behind the ears. everything into place once you've got it there. Move the ears up a bit above the feet. And what you should see is it's very difficult to see on a black balloon to be fair. I'll try and catch the light. The ears are stuck above the feet. They're not overlapping. Okay and that just makes the ears ride a little bit higher on the body and on the head so you can see them a bit more clearly. Okay, there we are, front feet done, the cat's nearly finished. What we'll do now is the back, uh, sorry not the back legs, we'll do that in a second. What I'll do is the tail. You can make your tail as long as you want. If you inflate the rest of the balloon right to the end and then just decide how long you want the tail to be. And then let the rest of the air out. I then tie the tail on to the back of the quick link first and then when I pass over the legs, the back legs and the bum, as you'll see in a minute, it, it just sort of hides everything, it secures everything and, and, and it just gives a nicer finish in my opinion. I always say in my opinion because everyone has their own way of doing things. So we'll make the last two feet, two legs, we're going to do that large pinch twist for the ball, we're going to do three small pinch twists for the toes, hoping that we don't get a pop because I have got a spare balloon down, that should be a bit of a pain, a good. and just rearrange the toes, 
and the ball. There. Again, you want about the same length leg because this will stand by itself. So four fingers and a bit. And then you want to create two large-ish finger and a half pinch twists. This creates the bum. That's the cat. And if you get your pinch twist just right, kind of can look a bit like a cat's bum as well. So there make the other leg. Large pinch twist for the ball of the foot. Really small pinch twist for the toes. Uh, and break the rest off. He says. Always you like, save your scraps. I know I know people some people don't like saving scraps, what's a balloon, it's 5p, it's 4p, it's, it's a couple of cents, depending on where you are in the world. But they can become, a, you know, they can come in useful. That, that will be an eyeball at some point. It's up to you. So now we just slot the legs from the top to the bottom, pulling the tail through the back side. And then I, I wrap it round once, and that huge twist. Back up to the top between the pinch twists, so the the tail actually rests on top of, of the bottom, and that also allows the feet to be pushed forward a little bit, which gives it a, a bit of a better look. The tail then you bend it how you want. Uh, I mean, I like to, like to add a bit of character to the tail. Uh, but again, you, you bend it how you like. Uh, so all we need to do now is finish off the face. With the Sharpie art. So I'll just draw two eyeballs. This is the bit that I'm really struggling with at times, the Sharpie work. Do some whiskers. Sorry, whiskers there. Just three lines on the other side. There we have our fat cat. There he is. Oops, that leg's a bit askew. So there we are. That's that's the tutorial. Hope you've enjoyed it. Hope you found that useful. It is relatively quick, relatively simple to do. You could have the faces and the muzzles pre pre-made if you could think you're going to make a load of these. Make them in different colours. Have a go. I'm planning on doing a green one for a pig. But have fun.